Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, Friday Thrifting. Wow, this freaking morning has been a whirlwind. I don't think these are old, but they're freaking neat. Let me see if I can do some research. I like this one. Out. In. <laughs> And another one of those uh, Santa bears. Not the actual bears, but the uh, cookie jar. Santa bear cookie jar. Sold real fast. Well, I found a couple of things. I already showed you these. I believe this. You know, I originally thought it might be Fenton. I'm not entirely sure though. Ooh, almost dropped it. This is neat. Climbing Clown Circus with the original box, and it is complete. So I'm gonna look that up. I know nothing. This is a reproduction, but it is super cute. I don't care if it hangs around for a while, I'll stick it in my bathroom. Okay, these are not as old as I originally thought. They're dated 1999. And they're only listing for like 18 bucks. So I'm gonna put that back. This is unavailable on Amazon and is not listed anywhere else on the internet that I can find. I didn't do a ton of research, but I like it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna definitely get that. And I think I'm gonna get all three of the doorknobs. I really like all three of these a lot, and I was having a really hard time finding any information online, and I was correct. That is indeed Fenton. I'm going to make sure I don't see any damage on it, but for five bucks, yep. Whew, 32 and some change. A little bit jealous the guy in front of me had found a My Pet Monster. If I remember, let's take a picture up here, but oh my god. I'm so jealous. Okay, Salvation Army. This really needs to be my last rough stop. <laughs> I need to go home. I need to go home. I need to list. I need to organize. <sighs> I got a lot to do at home. I got one thing I got a box up that's sold. Those are cute. Modern but cute. All oh, it says is China. I really like this. Glass top, vintage, made in China. I really like that piece a lot. What's it for? I love it, but it's six bucks. Oh my god, check this guy out. He has no price tag. But for the bur for the right price, he's coming home with me. I love him. Oh, and I think I spotted this. Alright, I'm gonna see how big this is. In all honesty, it's not that big. It's just like a throw blanket, but it's five bucks. I love it, and I'm in a buying mood, I guess. Oh, cool, check it out. He glows in the dark. With the box, 30 ish, so without the box, 15 ish, maybe. All right, two thrift stores. What did I come home with? I don't even think I showed you guys this. It's an Otagari vase, and it has a cardinal on it. Very festive, very Christmassy. Spent $4 on it. I usually do fairly well with Otagari pieces. The last one that I bought, I haven't been sitting on for a few months, so I'm not gonna lie about that, but it's got a cardinal on it. Festive. This is the kind of stuff that I would put out for Christmas. So, I've been in a decorating kind of mood. I will probably list it, but in the meantime, it can be part of my holiday decorations. I don't even know what to expect out of it. 35-ish, maybe? I'm not 
I don't know. Same with these guys. In, out, porcelain, doorknob. I cannot find another one on the interwebs anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's a guessing game. I think I'm gonna like list them for 40 to 45 each and then I can always adjust the price if need be. Got the pretty glass, green glass with the bubbles. I love glass doorknobs, even though this is a reproduction, I still like it. And this one is also very pretty, hand painted, so pretty. This, I just love. It does have a little defect right here on the corner, but that's okay. It's old. It gets a pass. I'm going to try to clean up the fuzz. That's the only part about these things is they will literally just collect any piece of dust, hair, anything you got floating around, it'll grab. Clean the glass up. I paid four bucks for it. They're not worth a ton of money, but it's really pretty. I'll probably list that one for about 18. Same with this isn't huge, but it is a vintage granny squares. I like the colors. The colors aren't your typical colors for the granny squares. That will probably get listed for like 25-ish. And I was right. This is a fun piece. Five bucks is what I paid for it. It is hand painted, signed by the artist. And I did look it up and couldn't for the life of me tell you what it's worth. I don't remember. I'll look it up again. Like probably 35-ish. I don't know. Same with this flash wash powder with magic whitener. It is a reproduction of a 1950s tin. This is what the side looks like. Open, press here, and tear back. So I guess it was a cardboard, um, originally a cardboard thing. Skincare. All temperature laundry detergent. Interesting. Also treats heavy stains. Caution, eye irritation may be harmful if swallowed. Nostalgic Art is uh, who makes it. I looked them up, and the only one I could find, like I did a Google image search, um, was on Amazon, and they were unavailable on Amazon, which is good for me, because I have one. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I was going to try to pop the top off. I don't know what to expect. 25 35-ish. I paid two for it, so I just think it's cool. I need Rich to put up a shelf in our bathroom, because I think this would be really cute. Um, in there, until it sells. And then we got a little Frankenstein dude, who apparently is something, but he doesn't have his original box, which definitely hurts his value. So I'm thinking he's probably worth like 10 bucks without his box. Um, he does have a couple little nicks like on his foot right there. And I gouged him somewhere with my fingernail. Although I don't see where he did that. I think he's neat. He can hang out here until he sells. I'm okay with it. Um, and then I have one thing outside. This is that little table that me and Rich picked up last Sunday. Uh, while we were out. Sorry, cars. While we were out garbage picking. And I have somebody that's supposed to pick it up around 4 o'clock today. Uh, porch pickup style. And also... Speaking of porch pickups, I gotta figure out where my phone is to check. Uh, there is possibly another porch pickup. I'll show you if that pans out. And I have one sale. This. This is a Ken Keeley 20th Century Newsstand 1000 piece used puzzle. I put together the puzzle. It was very fun, actually. It was a very enjoyable puzzle to put together. After I put it together, I took pictures of it with the box and if it had any like posters, I don't remember if it did or not. And then I listed it on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. It sold on Facebook Marketplace for a whopping $10 plus the cost of shipping. But I think I either got this for free or very, very cheap. So uh, I don't mind selling puzzles. Every once in a while I get in the mood to put one together. And then once I'm done with it, I'm done with it. So I uh, list it. 10 bucks plus cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I actually did get in touch with the other potential porch pickup, which is this Thai beanie baby. Cheeks the baboon. Now you know why. <laughs> $4. He's supposed to stop by this afternoon and pick him up. 
Not a giant score. I'm not going to get rich off Thai Beanie Babies by any means. Let you in, check him out. <laughs> but uh, they do sell, so I'm going to get him ready to go out. And I think the weekend sales just officially kicked off because we've just sold more things. These are tortoise highball glasses or lowball glasses. I can't remember. They are signed. George Briard. Come on. Right there. <laughs> These are good. You picked these up for Kiwanis for like cheap, cheap. And just sold them on Facebook Marketplace for $40 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook. Um, whew, whew. I'll take it. And then to the same buyer on Etsy. Sorry, I'm trying to like hold it with one hand and it's shaking. To the same person on Etsy, we sold the Talisman and Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. Five bucks a piece. Well, it just started raining, and apparently this guy is not coming. So, Beanie Baby is still available, but the table did get picked up. $15. Love garbage picking. So on that note, I'm going to send you guys off. See you on the next. Bye!